The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009 created some huge opportunity and challenge. Put people to work quickly and accelerate cleanup. And we've accepted that challenge and have succeeded. And I want to thank the CHPRC employees for creating a new legacy of Hanford site cleanup and taking the site closer to its final site footprint. We were given this opportunity because the decision makers trusted that we had the right approaches and the right capabilities to accomplish this work safely. That we were truly shovel ready and could accept the challenge to accelerate site cleanup. Over the past two and a half years, you have demonstrated that. We have accomplished more site cleanup than has been done in Hanford in its history. And we've gone a long way to accomplishing critical cleanup work that is important not only to our community, to the stakeholders, and to leaders outside of the Tri-Cities. When people think of cleanup on the Hanford site, they usually think about demolishing structures or moving contaminated waste. We in the engineering project and construction team know there's more than that. It's constructing new facilities, state-of-the-art facilities that will remove contaminated wastewater. We've installed miles of pipeline, process equipment, and many facilities and transfer stations. Now, this is an investment that's going to last us not only for a few years, but for lifetimes to come. As you know, over the past two years, we doubled our workforce here at the PRC with the Recovery Act money. The safety, health, security, and quality organization supported that ramp up, specifically in the areas of procedures, programs, and training. We visited each one of the PRC projects to ensure that workers were working safely. We partnered with DOE, RL, MTech Union to ensure that those programs were in place. We did all of this safely in one of the most hazardous environments in the world. Since April 2009, we've been able to demolish 75 facilities, almost a million square feet. We've returned 290 square miles back to nature and stopped discharges to the Columbia River, which had been going on for 67 years, restoring the banks at the same time. Without Recovery Act funding, we would not have been able to accomplish this work and hire the men and women to accomplish all that hard work during that time. And for that hard work, I say thanks. During the Recovery Act era, the business services team accomplished work safely and served as trusted stewards of the government's resources. Together, we accomplished unprecedented mobilization and demobilization of people, subcontracts, facilities, materials, IT infrastructure, and training. I and the entire leadership team am extremely proud of our efforts. For the waste and fuels, project under ARA. We completed over 2,500 cubic meters of waste retrieval, over 2,000 cubic meters of suspect TRU disposition, over 1,000 cubic meters of waste shipped off-site transuranic, and over 1 million tons of waste disposed of with over 80,000 shipments done safely under ARA. In April 2009, we began working with the Department of Energy to determine which projects we could accelerate using the Recovery Act funds. Our organization, Prime Contract and Project Integration, worked countless hours with the field in developing these plans so we could determine how to maximize progress at the Hanford site and also determine the employment impact that Re Recovery Act funds could have. Our organization also developed the tools so that we could have transparent reporting in both jobs created and our projects against our project metrics. Thanks to ARA funds, soil and groundwater remediation has been accelerated at the Hanford site. In October, our new DX pump and treat system will set a new milestone for groundwater remediation, removing over 800 million uh, gallons of groundwater in a single year. The 303 wells that we drilled has given us new information on the contamination in the ground and is helping us remove the contamination. The over 65 waste sites that we cleaned up removed hundreds of thousands of tons of contaminated soil. With ARA and the dedication of the soil and groundwater remediation team, we've accelerated shrinking the footprint at the Hanford site. Our organization played a major role in obtaining key decision documents for the CHPRC KPP projects, including work in the K area cleanup and the work in the river, the waste retrieval and processing, and the DND projects. We did this in a very compliant manner. We had zero environmental releases which allowed the projects to move on 
uh, in an uninterrupted manner um, throughout the KPP period. You know, I'm not sure how the rest of the country spent their Recovery Act money, but out here at the plutonium finishing plant, we put those funds to good use. We removed over 130 highly contaminated plutonium glove boxes. We took out over 1,800 feet of highly contaminated process piping. We removed 15,000 feet of asbestos insulation and demolished 20 facilities and made 10 more ready for demolition. We spent that money and it helped us get ready for the ultimate demolition of the plutonium finishing plant. I continue to be impressed and amazed at our CHPRC workforce at accomplishing the Recovery Act mission here at the Hanford site. No other site has accomplished as much work as we have and provided as good a value to the dollar as we have here at Hanford. We've accelerated the cleanup of the most highly hazardous facilities in the United States. And we've done it safely and we've done it compliantly. The Hanford site played an instrumental role in our nation's defense and we are proud to be a part of that legacy, cleaning up that legacy, and protecting the Columbia River.